Hello and welcome to another manga spotlight. This is the Pension Light Vampire by Taiguchi Soichi, and it is a lighthearted slice of life series about a former monster hunter who teams up with a vampire to open up a bed and breakfast. <laughs> so, the basic premise vampires and werewolves. One day, Eerie, a revision officer who hunts down things that are said to resent mankind, wanders into a pension run by a mysterious girl. The encounter between a girl whose existence was denied and a legendary vampire. She won't change the world, but she can become kind. A heartwarming house administration comedy begins now. So yeah, let's go over like the basic story. So in this world, there are monsters. Uh, vampires, werewolves, mermaids, dragons, fairies, ghosts, yokais. All those different mythological creatures, all those different folklores from all over the world. They exist and they're called acclaimed and they are at war with mankind. And so mankind decides to uh, create this special task force called Rewriters. And Eri, our main character, is a rewriter, basically a monster hunter. And she has been training ever since she was a little kid. Like at the start of this series, I want to say she's like 17 or something. She's in high school. But when she first started, she was a small child. Her whole entire life has been built up to become a free rider. And we see her and her fellow squad mates, and uh, they basically go through like VR training. So they're not out in the field yet because they, um, they're they so basically in training, but Erie is the best when it comes to the her fellow students, her fellow free riders in training. And just as she graduates, they receive news that peace has been brokered between monsters and humans. So the war is over. And the um, squad is disbanded. And so Erie, who has spent her entire life training for this moment, it's now all gone. So now she's kind of like, well, what do I do with my life? Like my entire life since I was a kid has been training to fight monsters. Like I don't have a social life. I don't like my childhood is gone. What do I do now? And they're just like, ah, oh, well, go to school, make friends, live life the way you want. You don't have to worry about monsters anymore. Go go do whatever you want. But Eerie's still like, that doesn't help me. <laughs> like, what do I do? So she just kind of goes to school. She's still stuck in this mindset of being like a rewriter. Like, it, this is something she's trained for so many years. She can't just get rid of it. So she's still like in this monster hunting style. So even when she goes to school, like a normal high school and introduces herself to her fellow students, she salutes and she... um explains herself in a way that like a soldier would explain to their boot camp leader there's one moment where she's like tasked with taking all these notes to like the uh, faculty room and she just has a huge stack instead of taking them like one at a time um, like or like smaller stacks or asking for help she's able to carry everything at once because this is just small fry to her like she, she can easily do this even when uh, her fellow students are like why are you taking them all at once? Wouldn't it be easier if you just took them one at a time? Like, why are you carrying it all by yourself? Ask for help. She's like, oh, it will sense these orders. So she follows orders from the higher ups. Like she, she's just, she's still stuck in this soldier mindset. And um, she's walking home from school when she sees this young girl with silver hair. And she really like kind of just stands out. And the two cross each other. And as they cross each other, Eri ends up looking up and she sees like a mirror and she notices that this girl is not reflected in the mirror. Like she can see the girl's hat. She can see the girl's ho hoodie. She can see the girl's clothes, but she can't see the girl itself. And that's when she realizes that this girl is a vampire, one of the most dangerous monsters out there. And so Eri, because her rewriter mindset is still in place, she decides to track down this vampire, make sure she's not up to any nefarious things. And so she sees a little girl running into this house and um, she's kind of like wondering like, why is this vampire living in the middle of town? She's got to be up to something. So she hides her presence and she tries to sneak in when all of a sudden the door opens up and the girl stares at her and Eerie's like, oh no, I've been caught. But instead of being like upset, like why are you trespassing on my property or anything like that, the girl instead gets super excited, she welcomes Eri, grabs her hand, pulls her inside, sits her down, gives her like milk and crackers and stuff, and basically um, says, welcome to the pension fever dream. 
I'm the manager of Veronica. And for anyone who's not aware of what a pension is, I, I didn't know what that really was as well. I kind of guess it was like almost like a hotel in a sense, because there are no pensions here in America, at least none that I know of. I think it's more of like a European and uh, Middle East, East Asia kind of thing. But it's basically a bed and breakfast, only instead of just serving breakfast, they also serve lunch, dinner, and I guess in certain places they'll have like tea and stuff like that. So it's basically like lodging, but they also serve all three meals. And Veronica explains that she owns this place. And she asks Ari, like, so, like, you know, what's your name? Ari introduces herself. She's like, all right, how many nights do you want to stay? Are you staying a week, a month, a year? And Ari explains, no, like, I'm not staying. I'm not a guest. And Veronica is upset. She's like, oh, I thought you were going to be my first human guest. And that's when Ari explains that I'm a rewriter. And uh, watching over monsters and keeping people safe is my duty. And Veronica's like, you mean a former rewriter? Like, the war is over. There's nothing to worry about. And she finds out that Veronica has created this pension that she's running where she wants humans and monsters to be able to coexist and live together in peace and stuff like that. And um, we even get a story of why Veronica wants to do this. Because... um, Veronica is terrible <laughs> at <laughs> managing uh, a pension. Uh, the whole entire place is like covered in dust and cobwebs and stuff. Um, she doesn't have any tea to serve. She only has milk and crackers. And the crackers she serves are like those salting crackers in the little packages. But even the packages are like covered in dust. Uh, the kitchen is just completely covered in garbage. The library is just covered in dust and she's clumsy as hell like as soon as she tries to like clean things up she just constantly falls and breaks things and um it even explains like why are you trying to run a pension like you're, you're terrible at this and veronica explains that back during the war she had a really good friend and her friend uh made a, uh, she made a promise with the friend her friend wanted to open up a pension together with veronica and veronica is like all right let's do that like once this war is over we're going to open up a pension together unfortunately that friend ended up dying but veronica wants to keep her promise and she wants to um see her friend's dream to fruition so that's why she decides to continue running a pension despite the fact that she's terrible at it and eerie at first, it's like, well, under the guise of watching over Veronica and making sure she's not up to anything nefarious, she decides, okay, I'll, I'll work with you like as your employee. And so the two of them start working together to make this place presentable and stuff. But then over time, you can see that Veronica is chipping away at the walls that um, Eerie holds for monsters. And we get to see that Eerie is slowly starting to start trusting and befriending Veronica. And it's just a sweet little story of a vampire and a former monster hunter working together to run what is essentially a bed and breakfast for humans and monsters. And then we just get like each chapter has its own little uh, self-contained little story, but it's not an episodic series. So like each chapter is kind of episodic in a sense, but there's also an overarching story. So things like continue. So, like, we see, like, the buildup between this friendship. We see them eventually start getting customers. So, the struggle at first is trying to get... Well, the struggle at first is actually uh, Eerie becoming okay with Veronica, as well as becoming okay with making friends. Eerie has never had any friends before. She has no idea how to make friends. And so, it's her trying to learn to basically become human. And we get this kind of interesting little dynamic where veronica who is a vampire is the one that helps eerie become more human like veronica is the one that kind of helps eerie open up more not just to veronica but also to other people like her fellow students and stuff like that so it's this interesting dynamic of this girl who has trained her entire life to be a monster killer but right when she's about to fulfill that duty the war ends and now she's just kind of like well how do I go on being a human? Like, I've never been a regular human. I've always just been trained to hunt monsters. I don't know how to interact with people. I don't know how to go to a normal school. Like, I don't even know how to make friends. Like, what do I do? How do I talk to people? How do I introduce myself? And so she's trying to kind of like relearn all that stuff. 
and Veronica kind of helps her in her own little way. And um, at the same time, Aries helping Veronica fulfill her friend, her deceased friend's dreams. So it's just kind of this sweet little heartwarming series. It is uh, a weekly series on uh, Shonen Jump Plus, or you can just go read it on Manga Plus. That's why you're not going to be seeing any interiors. It's because it's from Manga Plus, which is, means it's associated with uh, Suisha. I can never pronounce that company for the life of me. I don't care to. <laughs> for anyone who's unfamiliar, I kind of have bad blood between them. Um, they've copy striked my channel multiple times. Like, thankfully, like I've been able to like work those strikes off. But uh, yeah, because of them, I don't ever show interiors when it comes to any mangas that are like associated with them. Um, so if you see a, a manga spotlight that has interiors, it's because Swisha is not the producers or the public not producers they're not the, the publication um and it's not like a branch of them or anything like that it's like nothing to do with suisha if it has anything to do with suisha then uh you're just gonna get spotlights like this where it's more audio than anything i'm kind of rambling about that but yeah this is like a good little series i enjoy it a lot like it's kind of nice like um especially like if you know you're having a bad day or whatever or just some of the mangas that i read kind of leave me like a little bit down because like i i read like all different types of stuff i'll read lighthearted hard stuff i'll read edgy stuff i'll read depressing stuff i'll read just terrible terrible and when i mean terrible i'm, I'm talking about like the content and the warnings and stuff like i read everything and um the pension light vampire is like a good series to kind of like be a palate cleanser like if there's something like oh man okay I'm, i, I kind of need to pick me up this is a good series to check out because it's just a nice little heartwarming story about this monster hunter befriending a vampire. But yeah, go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can go read it. Uh, but there you go. There's the Pension Life Vampire. A really good series so far. I'm hoping it's doing well. Because uh, unfortunately, some of the manga spotlights that I've done for ongoing series just have not survived. <laughs> like they only last a little while after I've done a video on them and then they're gone. And it's like... I wonder if my channel is cursed. So here's hoping that this series continues to go. But it's been awesome so far. I'm enjoying it a lot. And uh, yeah, I highly recommend it. There you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope to see you next time. Take care. Later. So what did you guys think of that video? I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe. Hit that bell for a notification. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And if you didn't enjoy the video, thank you for watching it this far. And I hope the next video is more to your liking. Feel free to check out the playlist that you guys see, and I hope to see you guys next time. Later.